Now to start this trek up. I think we needed this. Babe, I think we're out of shape. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. This is our last full day here in Taipei. We are the Simpsons, and if you're just tuning in for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along for all adventures. But today, we are starting the late afternoon because we're going to hike Elephant Mountain today, and I'm hoping to time this perfectly so we get there right before sunset. I did read that it gets a little busy at that time, but we're just gonna find out. Actually, before we get on the metro, the first order of business is to top up the metro card. So let's figure this out. Well, that seemed way too easy. We had major issues in Dubai topping up our metro card. And if you haven't seen that video of our series in Dubai, it's going to be right here. Way too clean and way too easy. <laughs> Taipei is the most organized place that I've ever been. I mean, their metros are so efficient. We are heading to the trail to head up to Elephant Mountain. I also read that it's 20 minutes straight upstairs, which is not super challenging, but after all these dumplings, we could use that. Now to start this trek up. It's not exactly a secret. And there was a fork, and at the first fork, we went right, because we didn't know. How you doing back there? <laughs> I've had too many dumplings. We're about six minutes in. I think it's worse that they're short little steps <laughs> rather than like normal steps. It's like either a lunge or a lot of small steps. So many steps. Are you sweaty? Yeah. <laughs> you have the water dripping. Oh my gosh. Right when you think there's a, like a little plateau? No. No. He told me I had to take the camera because he's getting tired. So that was platform one. That was the first view, but we're not stopping there. Me and my sweaty face would like to welcome you to platform number two. <laughs> Trying to see if we can find a spot where we can fly the drone, but it means more steps. How are you doing? <laughs> this really nice man who clearly is running up this hill, which respect, just directed us over here where I don't think there are a lot of tourists and it's supposed to have an even better view. That is the definition of Taiwan. Everyone that we've met here has been so helpful and so nice. We don't speak Chinese at all. And they've just all been so lovely. I'm really gonna miss Taipei. This has been such a nice surprise. Also, one of the many vlogs that I read about this place, it's said to bring bug spray, but I would absolutely bring it no matter time of the year that you come here. Quarter sized mosquitoes, ready to eat you up. This is supposed to be the best view, let's see. Careful. Wow, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 
you guy walking on the trail because it's way better and there's about eight people here. Whereas the other one, there's literally a line to get back down to it. Thank you, Mr. Taiwanese man. That was the coolest way to end our time here in Taipei. That's the spot to go to for sunset anytime you come up here. So if you keep walking up to the platform three, just keep walking. Keep walking and walking and eventually you end up here. This is such an oasis. It's so quiet and we're in a major city. That sunset was a mediocre sunset, but the view of the city from daylight to nighttime it is just such an underrated city and I just cannot recommend it enough. Come soon before more people find out about it because it's so underrated. This elephant mountain hike was good idea, babe. For the record, this is open 24 hours so you can literally come here at any time of the night or day and it's free. But we are super hungry and we have two spots in mind. We have not eaten the, the famous beef noodle soup yet. We're going to go to a place that I found that hopefully is cheap and it's rated for the best beef noodle soup in Taiwan. And we're gonna go to a dumpling place because yes, soup and dumplings that do different places, now that is how you do it. Be careful, be careful. He's filming and he's walking. It's called skill. Oh God. Got skills like that. <laughs> <laughs> Those little steps are way worse than big steps. I think a big bowl of beef noodle soup is just what the doctor ordered. So when I read about this place, I thought it was gonna be very expensive, but this doesn't look super expensive and it's a really cool little hole in the wall. And this is our kind of place. So she just said soup and I said beef noodle soup. So I assume she knows what we're here for. And this is a traditional Taiwanese dish that we have not had yet. And it looks so good. We deserve this after that elephant mountain hike because that was straight uphill. <laughs> so apparently this is the best beef noodle place in Taiwan. That beef looks so delicious. Oh my god. Tender, juicy, not spicy at all. That is the beef flavor is so immense and delicious. So I assume they just cook like cook beef in the broth for days, but it's just so fatty and delicious. The noodles, they cook them fresh to order. These Chinese noodles are just perfect. I'm really sad that it's getting to the bottom because I don't want this to end. <laughs> that was probably the best bowl of soup I've ever had in my entire life. But we're on the dumplings, let's go. That's the dumpling spot. <laughs> We've realized that this neighborhood that we're in has all the cheap, all the cheap. and best food. And I think you pronounce it she, but we're gonna put it right here. What do you want, just something? Yeah. I'm not sure how to get their attention. I don't know if I just go up there. We're not making eye contact. I don't know what to do. Let's see what this does. Let's see what happens. So I think I ordered the correct things. We're gonna find out. And how these work here is you pay per dumpling. And you can only order 10, 15, or 20. I got 15 leek and pork, and I got 10 kimchi. Booyah. Again, time to feast. This is the kimchi and pork one, my favorite dumpling in the world. 
I want 10 more. <laughs> but Sam won't let me do it. Babe, we don't need 30. We always dumplings. need more dumplings. <laughs> he gets so excited when he eats food that he really likes. Let's go, let's go get enough. Just another 10. Just another 10. It's always like that. That's always the story with him. <laughs> it's cheaper than I thought. I thought it was 180. But it was only 150. If you want the best food in Taipei for the least amount of money, this is the neighborhood. Take my word for it. <laughs> if not, prove me wrong and come here and tell me. Or tell me in the comments below if you've been somewhere else or prefer something else or even heard of it. Because I feel like we found hidden gems. So I think we're going to close out here for the night. We're heading to a bay city tomorrow called Hualien and we are so excited. He's mostly excited because he's going to rent a motorbike. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little scared. Not scared, nervous. See you on the go. and they were steep. Steep. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing either. Tapping out. Two of my noodles fell on the table and I still ate them. I put them back in my bowl, which is, it's probably really disgusting. <laughs> I don't know if you want to admit that on camera. You know what? I've probably eaten worse things out there than a noodle falling onto a dirty hole in the wall table. <laughs>